everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my February book haul. So in the month of February, I acquired quite a few books. And also in this book haul, I forgot to include some books in my last book haul from last month. So I included them in this one. So I have a total of 11 books here. And let's just jump right in. So the first book I acquired in the month of February was sent to me in a swap box with one of my friends. And that book is Poison by Sarah Perenborough. This is a retelling of Snow White. Um, and is I'm guessing it's surrounding the Evil Queen. So if you can you guys can tell by my channel name, the Evil Queen kinda has a pretty big inspiration on me. Um, I can relate a lot to the character, so um my friend said to me this uh book because she knew I liked the Evil Queen and definitely one of her favorite characters in fairy tales, so she thought I'd probably like this book and I cannot wait to read it. So the next two books are part of the same series and they were both sent to me for review by the author, so thank you so much to her for sending me these. And those books are Pharaoh's Cat and The Eye of Nefertiti, both by Maria Louise uh, Lang. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that name wrong. Um, so these are both historical fiction novels. They take place in Egypt, I believe, and they both sounded really, really interesting. I can't really give a good description on them both because I there isn't really a good summarization on the back. Um, so I'll let you guys know when I read these, what they're about. Um, but thank you so much to, again to Maria for sending me these. I cannot wait to read them. The next two books were also sent to me by review by the authors. So the first book I have here is... NSA by Benny Nealon. I'm so sorry if I butchered that name. Um, this is a, I believe, like a mystery crime, maybe literary fiction novel um, surrounding the NSA, which I found was really cool. So I definitely picked it up um, when the author sent it for me um, to review. And I absolutely love this cover. Can we just talk about this? <laughs> I love the stars and I kind of like the Statue of Liberty in the uh, Lincoln Mo Memorial. And I think it gives a really cool aspect, so I'm definitely going to pick this up probably next month. The second book that was also sent to me for review was this one, which is Vital Spark by Leah Devlin. This is a, I believe, historical fiction novel surrounding pirates, which I think is really cool. I've never read a book including pirates in it, so I'm definitely going to check this out soon. Um, I also really love the cover of this book. It's really, really pretty. So, yeah. The next book I got actually at a local thrift store back a couple months ago, and that book is Kingdom, Kingdom, Kingdom Keepers, book one, Disney After Dark by Ridley Pearson. Now, from what the summer, uh, synopsis says, this book surrounds these kids, and they are locked up in the Disney world or Disneyland overnight, and the park kind of comes alive. And actually, this book was recommended to me by my cousin. She read it, and she really liked it. So when I saw this in the like, local thrift store, I definitely picked it up. Um, it was very intriguing. It's middle grade. It's fantasy. Everything I like. The next book I picked up has been getting a lot of hype lately, especially last year. And that book is American Gods by Neil Gaiman. I actually heard really fantastic things about it. I don't know what it's about at all. So I'm kind of going into this blind, but I kind of want to do that anyways. I've never actually read a Neil Gaiman book, so this will be my first try. Hopefully I like it um, and see what the hype's all about. The next book I've been meaning to read for months now, because it was the Peru's Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for, I believe, the month of October, and this book is Stealing Snow by Daniel Page. This is a retelling of the Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen, which is the uh, story that Frozen is based off of, and I loved Frozen, so I haven't read the original work, but this one sounded really intriguing. It follows our main character, Snow, and at the beginning of the book, she is locked up in this mental asylum, because um, she has, uh, from what I can tell, is uh, like ice powers, kind of like uh, Elsa does in Frozen. Um, so I think that's really cool. Um, like I said, this is a Peru's Utopia Club, Book Club Book of the Month for October, so I've been meaning to read it for a while, but I will get to it eventually, hopefully soon. The next book was, I believe, the final book that was actually sent to me for review by the publisher this time, and that book is King's Blood, Book 2 and the Kingsman Chronicles by Jill Williamson. I actually did not know this is a sequel until it came in the mail earlier today, um, so... I'm definitely going to check out the first book. It kind of sounds really interesting. It's um, about this king, this society with those five different realms, and that's pretty much all I know from the synopsis, but uh, it sounds really interesting, and I'm definitely going to check out the first book and then give my opinion on that, and then check out this book and see what I think. 
The next book I have to talk about is one that has been going around on booktube quite a bit lately since it was released. It's also very controversial, but it's one of my most anticipated re reads of this year, and that book is Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. Veronica Roth is the author of the Divergent trilogy. I loved Divergent. Um, I haven't actually finished the trilogy yet, but I plan on doing that probably in, within the next couple months. And this is her science fiction debut, and... I read the synopsis of this and it sounded so cool, so I automatically pre-ordered it. I was so excited when it came in the mail. I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding this. I'm still going to read it, give my opinion on it. Hopefully I'll like it. Um, and I know there's like some racial problems with this and that's why there's so much controversy around it. But we shall see what I think. And the last book I have for this haul was a Christmas present from my parents, and that book is Alice in, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Other Classic Works by Lewis Carroll. This is one of the all-time greatest classics. I haven't read it yet. I've seen the Disney movies. I've seen the Tim Burton adaptations. I've been wanting to read the original work for a while now. I just never got around to doing it. And this year, one of my goals is to read more classics, so this is definitely hot top of my list. This is the number one classic I want to read this year. So I think I'm going to read it next month, maybe in April, if not. And I hope I like it. And that's all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. And I'll be sure to have all my social media links linked down below for you guys to go check out. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. I'll also have my website linked down below if you guys want to see any reviews that I have yet to put up here on the channel. They're all on there. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to subscribe to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys on Monday for another video. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!